guys. So, okay, so um, Friday morning, heading into the hospital. Um, we'll see who sits with me in the break room today. <laughs> and we'll see what I have for meals and what else I can whip up for you today. Okay. Oh, another day. Um, We're gonna do this one. Yes. And what is it? Uh, zucchini noodles and the chicken. And you'll see the Parmesan cheese on top. You guys think it looks like sauce. When it melts, it is delicious. I can, I can literally eat at least three of the same meals like for a full day um, and as you'll see um, in the previous like food prep vlogs this makes it really easy um, that I literally can eat these same vegetables and potentially similar proteins uh, three times a day um, the, the ground beef and the ground turkey are really quick to make and then Obviously, um, the chicken takes a little bit longer, but if you do them all at once, you're good to go. So here, I'll show you this. See? Oh, you can see it. Whoa, that's close. So, that's pretty good. What's up guys? Hey, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to go over another quad, another workout for you. Quads and glutes. I did this workout a couple weeks ago. Uh, some of you who follow me on Instagram have seen a few of these clips all together. Um, this was in my arsenal to t test, um, put up on YouTube and I just haven't gotten around to it. So um, I do want to let you guys know um, my splits have been all over the board, but I know you guys have asked about splits. When I have a really good week and I am, I have... I am very regimented and I do get my five days in the gym. Um, I do have a split and usually involves um, glutes and quads, glutes and hamstrings. And, and depending on both of those days, I will add in calves. And then I will do um, back and shoulders on, on another day, and then biceps and triceps on another day. And then the day, um, and that fifth day, it truly is, it's, a li it's usually some lower body work, um, thighs, inner and outer thighs, abs, um, maybe calves if I didn't get around to it before, and cardio. So that is my five day split. Um, on a good week. Uh, like I said in previous YouTubes, a lot of times, especially now, and I, I'll have to say, um, I don't regret it and I'm not, I'm not disappointed in myself that I can't do the splits like normal because again, a lot of stuff has been coming around and um, of course I want to prioritize it. And so I just get into the gym and I have been doing some awesome, you know, full body workouts and especially because I'm, I'm trying to give back to you guys and I'm trying to think of some awesome workouts for you. And by the way, um, if you follow me on Snapchat, um, and actually Instagram, um, any of the, my other social media platforms, they all kind of mix and match. Uh, I did that uh, step up and lunge workout two days ago, and oh my god, am I still literally, I am feeling my glutes, my outer thighs, my hamstrings, my ham glute um, tie-in. It's, it's amazing, although I've done some of those exercises in the past, when you put them all together in a different workout in a different way, you will challenge yourself, despite your weight, despite anything. And that's, for me, that's why you'll find that I do a lot of creative exercises. Is there one good gold standard for a lunge? Sure, maybe, but it just depends. It just depends, and I, I wouldn't change how I work out for a lot of things. Um, I always go into the gym excited. I always go into the gym um, ready to push out an awesome workout. And um, due to that, I don't go heavy and I don't only do like six or eight reps and then I rest for two minutes. I get really bored with that. In fact, I don't even know if I've ever done that before. <laughs> um, but I mean, again, it's everybody's preference. It's everyone's preference. And I mean, that's just mine. And you know, I know the girls and my challenges, they absolutely love the creativity of the workouts that I bring to them and all the alternatives that they have as well. And I'm still working on them. So um, after this, after this workout, um, I am definitely going to be doing that 
um, co that complete lunge and step up workout. Uh, I think you guys will really love it. And like I said, for me, it's a lot of times just the accessibility of certain pieces of equipment. And to be able to do your entire workout pretty much in the same area, I know none of you guys will have an excuse. You know, not you know, if you already start with a piece of equipment, you should have it. Now granted, I mean, you could also think about it, well, you know, you should give it to somebody else for your workout, but I think it just depends. If it's a barbell and there's about seven barbells at your gym or the same with dumbbells or plates, like there's a ton of plates at a lot of gyms, um, then you shouldn't have to you shouldn't have to worry about you know letting someone else take it. Uh, but I, that's usually what I just I really like to do. Um, so, anyways, yeah. So this had nothing to do with the workout today. Um, I'm hoping you're liking the workout though. Uh, a lot of these exercises are a combination of <laughs> glutes and quads. Um, I do love all of these, uh, and then. Usually what you'll find in some of my workouts, I do enjoy finishing off with the spiral band. These reverse hyperextensions with the spiral band, freaking awesome on your glutes, guys. Um, you put the spiral band right below your knees. Um, depending on if it's a new one or not, you might have stretched out just a tad, but you'll have a big green resistance band there. Um, so you can get a lot of glute action and outer thigh action. Hold it really tight at the top you will so feel that burn, especially after each of those other exercises. Um, and I will post the, the workout um, below for you, um, although it does say it in each, um, it does say it on the bottom of the video, okay? So one-legged pistol squats. I have a few variations of this one. This one was my first time I ever borrowed the TRX um, bands for assistance. Now, I'm not one. I have never done it unassisted. I've always, other than the pistol squat with the weight onto the bench. But in order to get myself really low, I want to keep my back as upright as possible. So I, I use a little bit of assistance with the TRX band. You'll also see in a future clip, um, I also use the cables as well. I do recommend you going lighter with this, um, being more cautious with this exercise. Make sure that the front of your knee does not start to hurt or get irritated or anything like that. Um, this one you can definitely eliminate from the workout um, if you do not have good strength or balance yet. Yeah, it's totally fine, okay? I'm gonna finish off with some alter um, stationary backward lunges on the Smith machine. Real simple, real basic, um, but I thought I would give you guys a little bit of a detailed workout for you, get you through this weekend, and trust me, I have a lot more coming, and I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. And please come back again and give it a thumbs up if you really like it. I love your comments as well. Um, comment and I will, I will read every single one of them. Thank you guys.